Hi guys, I'm back. Today I'm going to read 1 Samuel 15 to 21, Proverbs, Proverbs 17, and Psalm 143. Let's get started. And Samuel said, So the Lord sent me to anoint you king over his people. Yeah. Now therefore listen to the words of the Lord. Thus says the Lord of Hashem, I have never well I'm elected to so I am present among the way. Then he came up out of Egypt. Now go and strike him and in great destruction. All that they had, do not say them, and kill both men and women, children and infants, oxen and sheep, camel and donkey. And so Saul summoned the people and numbered them in Tele, 200,000 men on foot and 10,000 men of Jews. And Saul came to the city of Amalek like, and they made them And Saul said to the king, Let's go depart, go down from among the Amalek. They started to show you with them, for they used to show kindness to all the people as well. And he came out of Egypt. So the king has departed from among the Amalek. And Saul defeated the Amalek and some of us lost ship, which is east of Egypt. And then he took the king of the Amalek to lie. And the right to destruction all the people that just saw. And so and the people that spared Agag and the best of sheep and the oxen. And all the oxen of the fine cows and, and the owners. And all that was good. And we're not allowed to show them. And just show them. And all despise the worthless state to break to destruction. Well, the Lord can send. I regret that I have made so okay. He has turned back from following me and has not performed my commandments. And some of us are angry. And parts of the Lord are not. And some of us are to me. To me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So in the morning, he was told Samuel. So came to the car, and he set up a money man for himself and turned him past him. He went down to Google, and so he went came to Saul, and Saul said to him, Let's be you to the Lord. I will follow the commandment of the Lord. And Samuel said, What then is this bleeding of the sheep in my ears and the lion of the oxen right here? Saul said, And they brought them for me, Marcus. And he was the best of the sheep and of the oxen to sacrifice to the Lord. And the rest of the day, the word to shut him. And then Samuel said to Saul, Start, I'll tell you what the Lord said to me this this night, and he said to him, speak. And Samuel said, I said, are you a little in your own life? Uh, in your own life? Uh, are you not the head of the tribes of Israel? The Lord anointed the king of Israel. Over Israel. Uh, and the Lord sent me on uh, a mission to go to the destruction of the sins of the Lord Christ. And they fight and fight against him until they get you. And I think, do you not obey the words of the Lord? Why did you pounce on the sword and do what you inside for? And Samuel and so I also said to Sam, I have read the words of the Lord, I have gone on the mission of which the Lord sent me. I brought an agate king in my life, and I had to wear the amount of to shock him, but the people took it to well. sheep and oxen, the best of things to wear to shock him, sacrifice to the Lord your God in Gilu. And Sam so said, Has the Lord has great delight in better things than sacrifice? Has my brain the voice of the Lord? And I hold up, I obey his better sacrifice and listen to the father of mine. The rebellion is sin of nation, and presumption is sin, is as iniquity and idolatry. Yes, he rejected the word of the Lord. <coughs> He has also rejected you from being king. So also the same I have seen, for I transfers the command by the Lord in your words. Because I feared the people and obeyed my voice. I obeyed their voice, now therefore please pardon my sin. And turn with me that I may bow before the Lord. And Samuel said, So I will not return to you, to you for you rejected the word of the Lord. And the Lord has rejected you from being king of Israel. And Samuel turned to go away, so we'll see the scale of Israel. And, told, and Samuel said to him, The Lord told me to come out of Israel from me this day. And he's given it to a neighbor of yours, who is better than yours. So the boy is, I will not lie, I have regret. He is a man that he should have regret. And then he said, I said, Yeah, hey, on him now for the house of my heap and before Israel. And then we're telling him, Now I may bow before. And before the Lord your God. So Samuel turned back after Saul, and Samuel bowed, Saul bowed before the Lord. And Samuel said, Are you here to me? I got a king of the day, my guys. I got a saying to him, Shepherd. I got a saying, Surely the Surely the business of death is past. And Samuel said, As the sword is made women childless, so shall a mother be childless among women. And Samuel hacked, <coughs> hacked our egg to pieces before the Lord. And go. And then Samuel went to him. And Saul went up to his house in Gibeah. So, and Samuel did not see Saul again until the day of his death. And Samuel grieved over Saul. And the Lord regret that he made Saul king of Israel. The Lord said to Samuel, How long will he be here? So, since I rejected him from being king of Israel, so he hold on. Go home with oil and go. And I'm sending you to Jesse the Bethlehem. Bethlehem. If I have to ride for myself, I can't know. And so I said, How can I go? So he's, he'll kill me. And he'll hit him. And the Lord said, Take a half hour with you and say, I come to sacrifice to the Lord. Invite Jesse to the sacrifice. I'll show you what you shall do. You shall know for me. Here and here, I declare it's good to you. So you deal with the Lord and then you came to Bethlehem. And I'll just see you came to me. And he said, Here you come peaceable. And he said, Yes, the way. And I come to sacrifice the Lord. Consecrate yourselves and come with me to sacrifice. He consecrated Jesse and sons and invited them to sacrifice. And the king, he looked at an and thought, Show you the Lord's anointing is performed. 
that lowers such as that don't look at his appearance or the height of his stature. His energy and his lower season as man as man looks and that would appear. That the Lord looks on the heart, and Jesse could have been the man impossible for seven, and he said, No, that's the Lord chosen this one. And Jesse made Shadow impossible, and he said, No, that's the Lord chosen this one. And Jesse made seven of his sons possible for seven. And Samuel said to Jesse, The Lord has not chosen these. And Samuel said to Jesse, I always known to you. He said, These are, there remains yet the youngest. Behold, he is keeping the sheep. And Samuel said to Jesse, Send it again, for he will not sit down until he comes here. And Sam brought him in. Now he was ready and had beautiful eyes in his hands. And Lord said, Oh, I am my own anointed for this sea. And Samuel took a horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his mouth. And the Spirit of the Lord was one day from that day forward, and Samuel went out and went to him. And the Spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and the Holy Spirit of the Lord tormented him. And Saul said and said to him, Behold, now the Holy Spirit of the Lord go. He is tormenting me. Let our Lord now command his son, he will perform it to seek out men, and go for him by him. And the Holy Spirit of the Lord goes upon you, he will play, and you will be well. So Saul said to his servants, and <clears throat> and revive for me a man who can play well and bring him to me. And one of the young men is, Behold, I see your son and dress you at Bethlehem. There is skillful in playing, a man of fire, a man of war, brilliant in speech, and a man of good presence in the Lord's way. Therefore, Saul sent messengers to Jesse and said, Send me David, your son, who is with the sheep. And Jesse so took a donkey laden with bread and skin of wine and younger, and sent them by David's son to Saul. And then David came to Saul and entered the seven. And Saul loved him great, lived greatly, and he became his honor. And Saul sent to Jesse, and that David made my son. He is my favorite, my son. And that the hope of the God came on David. David took the lyre and, and played it with his hand. Now so Saul was refreshed and was well. And the hope of the spirit played apart from him. And the first thing is God. Yeah, they're only survived. And they'll gather a story called, which belongs to you, and came between Sokol and Asko, and in Ephes down there. And and so on the men of Israel were gathered and camped in the Bible, and drew up in line against the Philistine. And, and the Philistine stood in the man on the other side, on the one side, and Israel stood in the man on the other side, with the five between them. He came out of the camp of the Philistine, champion made in Goliath of God. His high was six cubits in his pen. He had a weight of bronze, helmet of bronze in his head, and he was armed with a coat of men. And on the weight of his coat was five thousand shekels of bone. And he bronze on his legs, a javelin and bronze slung between his shoulders. And the shaft of his spear was like a weaver's beam, and his spear his head weighed six hundred shekels of iron. And the shield bearer went before him. He stood and shouted to the ranks, he said, Oh, why have you not know, come, come out to draw it from hell? The man of the sea, I am not sent to Saul. Choose a man for yourselves, and let him come down to me. If he is able to fight him with me and kill me, then we will be your servants. But if I prevail against him, we kill him. And he shall be your servants and serve us. And the first he said, I had to fight the ranks of Israel this day. Give me a man, that we may fight together. And Saul and Oliver heard these words, and answered the first thing. They were just made really afraid. And then David, as the son of Ephrathah, at Bethlehem and Judah, named Jesse, who had eight sons. And days of Saul, the man was already old and advanced in years. <coughs> and the three older sons, and Jesse had four sons, too. And then his three sons, who went to the power of the first one. And next to him had been down, the third shaman. David was the youngest, three elders followed Saul. But David went back and forth from Saul to feed his father's sheep in Bethlehem. In Bethlehem, for forty days, the first thing came forth and took his, took his name morning and evening. And Jesus said to David, son, take for your brothers an effort of this parched uh, this parched grain, these ten loaves, and carry them quickly to the camp to your brothers. I said, take these ten quick cheese to the command of the family. See if your brothers are well. And bring some chicken from them. And I saw him there, and all the men at Israel were in the valley out, finding with the first things, and David rose early in the morning, and left the sheep with the keeper, and, and took the provisions and went. As Jesse had commanded him, and he went and came to the encampment whilst the host was going up to the valley, shouting the war cry. He saw him the first things, drove about, army against army, and David left the things and charged the keeper's luggage, and ran to the ranks and went and greeted his brothers. And he talked with them, behold, the champion, the first thing in Gath, Goliath by name, came up out of the ranks of the first thing, suspect the same words before. And David heard all of the men of Israel when they saw the men, fled from him and were much afraid. And the men of Israel said, well, Have you seen this man who has come? So he has come to the fire Israel, and the king were in the midst of and great riches, and I gave him his daughter and his father's house free from Israel. And David said to the men who stood by, And it shall be done for the man who kills his first thing and takes away the reproach from Israel. But who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? And the people answer me in the same way, so it shall be done to the man who kills him. Now Ahab, his eldest brother, heard when he spoke to him. And Ahab's anger was kindled against David, and he said, Why are you coming out? And with him have you left those few sheep in the wilderness? 
The new presumption of evil be hard. And he would come down to see the battle, and do so. What have I done now? It was not but a word. He turned away from him toward another, and spoke in the same way. And the people answered me again as before. And when the words that Darius spoke were heard, he repeated them before Saul. And he sent for him. And Darius said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of them. And his servant will go fight against this Philistine. And fight with this Philistine. But Saul said to them, You are not able to go against this Philistine, therefore, and to fight with him. For you are but a youth, and you should be a man of war from his youth. Darius came to the servant, he used to keep sheep for his father. And then there came a lion and a bear and took a man from the farm, and after him and struck him and delivered him out of his mouth. And if he arose against me, caught him by the beard and struck him and killed him. And his servant has struck down both lions and bears, and this uncircumcised Philistine, and he shall be like one of them. And he has to find the armies of the living God. And Darius said, The Lord has delivered me from the paw of the lion, and, and the paw of the bear will deliver me from the hands of the Philistine. And so it said to David, Go, and the Lord be with you. And so clothed David with his arm. He put a helmet and a bronze on his head and clothed him with a and killed a man. And David strapped his sword over his arm. And he tried in vain to go, for he had not tested them. And David said to Saul, I cannot go with him, I have not tested them. So David took them off, and took his staff in, in his hands, chose five stones, smooth stones from the brook, and put them in his shepherd's pouch. And his slain was in his hand, and he approached the first thing. And his Palestinians moved forward, and came near to David with a shield bearer in front of him. And the first things looked on sword together. He disdained him, for he was by youth, a ruddy and handsome in appearance. And the Philistine said to David, Am I a dog that you come to your sticks? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give him flesh to birds of the earth, to the peace of the field. And David said to the Philistine, You come to me with the soul, with the spear, and with the jumper. And I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies, Israel, whom you have defied. This day the Lord delivered into my hand. And I will strike you down and cover your head, and I will put the dead place in the house of the Philistine. This day to the birds of the earth, to the wild beasts of the earth. The earth may know that there is a God in Israel. And all this assembly may know that the Lord saves not with sword and spear. When the bow is the Lord, he'll give you into her. And the first thing arose and came and drew near to meet him. David went quickly toward the wall and to meet the first thing. And David put out his hand his back and took out a stone and slung it with and struck the first thing on his forehead. The stone sank into his forehead and he fell on his face to the ground. And David prevailed over the first thing with sling with the stone and struck the first thing and killed him. There was no sword in the hand of David. And David ran his duty over the first thing. And then took a sword and drew it out of his sheath and killed and cut off his head with it. When the first thing saw that their champion was dead, they fled. And the men of Israel and Judah and rose with Shem pursued the first thing as far as Gath and the gates of Echo. So after the wind of the first thing fell away from Shah Ram as far as Gath and Echo. Then the people of Israel came back from chasing the first things and they plundered their camp. And David took the head of the first thing and brought it to Jerusalem. Then he put his arm in his tent and soon saw what saw David going out against the first thing. He said to Abel, the man of the army, Abel, whose son is this youth? And Abel says, He saw those with me. I had not known. And the king said, Inquire who's on the boys. And soon as David returned from striking down the first thing, and they took it and brought him before Saul with the head of the first thing in his hand. And Saul said to him, Whose son are you? A young man. And David answered, I am the son of your son, Jesse, the left of my And as soon as he had finished speaking to Saul, the son of Jonathan was knit to Saul and David, as Jonathan loved him as a great soul. And Saul took him that day, and not let him to return to his father. And Jonathan made a covenant. And David, because he loved him and his soul, and, and with his soul, he loved him as his soul. And Jonathan stripped himself of, stripped himself of the red that was on him and gave it to David and his arm, and even his soul and his bow and spell. And David went out and was successful with his soul saying, So his soul said, over the men of war, men of war, and this was good in the sight of all the people. And he said, inside soul said, and they were coming here, and David returned for a second day on the first day. And when I came out of the city, so I was going to see the city, singing and dancing. And I'd meet King Saul with tambourines, with songs of joy, too. With songs of joy, too, with musical instruments. And the women sang to one another, so they celebrated. Saul so struck down his thousands, and David is ten thousand. And Saul so was very angry, and the same displeased him. He said, They have ascribed to David ten thousand, and to me they have ascribed thousands, and what more can you have with this kingdom? So I do from that day on. Next day, a half a from God rest upon Saul. And he waited with his ha- within his house while David was laying alone. It did day by day. And Saul had a spear in his hand, and Saul held the spear for him, and pinned David to the wall. And David evaded him twice. So Saul was afraid of David because the Lord was with him, and it's apart from Saul. So Saul removed him from the prince and made him commander of a thousand. And he went out and came in for a sheep. And David's success all day he did, was undertaking, so the Lord was with him. And Saul saw that he had great success. He stood in faithful all of him, but in all Israel and Judah, not, not there, for he went out and came before 
I came in before. Then the source said to you, here's my eldest daughter, Mara. I'll give her to you for a while. Her name be valiant to me and fight the Lord's battle. Then the soul called, let not my hand be against it. Then let the hand be first thing against it. And they said to the soul, who am I? And who am I around? my father's parents. I should be some more to the king back. I wouldn't marry a soul's daughter. She would have been given to me. She was given to Adrian in the hall of life for a while. I saw his daughter, my, my child loved David, and they told King, they told Saul, and the same priest did. So I thought, let me give her to him, and she did to him. And the hand of the first and made me give against it. Therefore, and therefore Saul said to David, Second, he shall now be my son, and Saul commanded his son, meet to David in privacy. And they held the king as the lion, and the other son is loving, now then becomes the king's son. And Saul served, and spoke his words, and he is to do. And David said, Does it seem to you a little thing to come with King Solomon? The sign of a poor man have no reputation. The servant of Saul said to him, Thus and so did David speak. And the Saul said, Thus shall you say to David, The king decides no bride cry, let the hundred force against the first He may be avenged to the king's enemies. And the Saul called to me, and heard David fall by the hand of the first nation. And the servant told David these words, Please David, to please David a while to be the king's son in law. And for the time it expired, David went and arose and Along with his men, and killed two hundred Philistines, and David brought their forces, which gave him to one of them. Which gave him four number to the king, and that he might become the king of Samuel. And so David was doing a march of a wife, for a wife, and when Saul saw a knight that rose with David, and that march of Saul stood about him, and Saul was even, even more afraid of David. So the soul was David's enemy continually, and the commands of the first things came at the battle, so that as often as the came out, David had more success than all the servants of Saul. So his name was the highest name, and Saul spoke to Jonathan his son to all the servants that they should kill David. But Jonathan saw son delighted much in David, and Jonathan told David, Saul may find Caesar to therefore be only God. And in the morning, stay in the secret place of yourself, and go out and stand beside my father and feel with you, and speak to my father about you, for then they can go to you. And Jonathan spoke all of David to Saul his father, and said to him, not the king sinned against the servant David, because he has not sinned against you. Then because the deeds of God good to you. Now he took his life at his hand and struck down the first thing. And the Lord worked a great salvation for us. And he struck down the first thing. And the Lord worked a great salvation. And he saw him rejoice. Why then we sin against him? And he blood. Like him and David had caused. Because all listened to the voice of John. And he swore. As the Lord lives, he shall be with death. And John the good day. John the important to him all these things. John the important to him all these things. And John the important to him all these things. And John the important to him all these things. And John the important to him all these things. And John the important to him all these things. And John the important he struck them with great blessings that they fled from him. And a half of spirit from the Lord came upon Saul. He sat in his house with the spirit and said, And David was playing the last. Saul sought to pin David to the water spirit. And he alluded to Saul. So he struck the spirit and Saul. So. And David fled and escaped. Escaped that night. And there's also a message to David's house to watch. And they killed him in the morning. But the manager of David's wife said, But told him, You don't escape with your life tonight. Tomorrow you'll be killed. So he might have let David down through the wind. And he got to fled away and escaped. I just took an image and laid on the bed and put a pillow of goods in his head. And it was covered with Christ. And when Saul sent messengers to take it, she said, She is sick. And Saul sent the messengers to see David, saying, Bring him up to me in the bed, that I may kill him. And the messengers came in and behold, the image was in the bed with the pillow of goods in his head. So I said to my children, Why are you to see me in the thoughts of the man? He asked, My children, this is all. And he said to me, well, Let me go. Why should I kill you? Kill you. So then David fled and escaped. And he came to Samuel at Ramah and told him what the sword done to And he and Samuel were and lived in there. He was told so. Behold, David sat in the air of the mouth. And he saw some messengers to take David. Then he saw the company of the prophecy. So Samuel standing his head over them. The Spirit of God came from the messengers. So there is a prophecy. And he was told so. He sat on the messengers. There is a prophecy. And saw some messengers again the third day. There is a prophecy. And he himself went to Ramah and came to the third day. There is a second. And he asked, Where is Samuel and Ramah? David, they said, Behold, they are nailed in Ram. And he went there to nail them Ram. And the Spirit of God came upon a person. And he, they, as he went, he prophesied until he came to nail them Ram. And he too stripped off his clothes. And he too prophesied before Samuel and made naked all that day and all that night. Thus they say, So also among the prophets. Thus David, when David fled from the earth Ram and came and said, said Poor Jonathan, what have I done? Where's my guilt? And what is my sin for your father? And he sees my life. And he said, Too far from it, you shall not die. Now my father does nothing like the great or small that disclosed it to me. And why should my father hide this from me? It is not so. David ran against him. Your father knows well that I found failing in your eyes. And then he still let Jonathan notice. Lest he, lest he be grieved. The truth is, Lord, there's no disorder. There is but a step between me and death. Then Jonathan said to David, Lord, every say, Lord, David, David said to Jonathan, Behold, tomorrow's in the year. 
I should not fail to sit at table with the king. Let me go to my heart myself and appeal into a flood. A fair day, he may. If your father misses me at all, then say, David, earnestly ask for your father to have a fair For there is a yearly sacrifice there for the clan. If he says good, it will be well with you, and you will be pleasing. You know the harm is determined by him. Therefore, deal kindly with yourself, for you have brought yourself into a covenant of war. But if there is good, and if you kill me yourself, why should you bring me to your father? And Jonathan said, Far be it from me. If I knew that it was determined by my father, the harm should come to you. I knew what I tell you, would I not tell you? Then David said to Jonathan, Will you tell me if your father answer you roughly? And Jonathan said to David, Come, let God to you. So he's very good at the answer. And Jonathan said to David, Will you tell your father? And the Lord the Lord to God is of you, witness. Now that I have sent out my father, about this time to me, Lord the Lord, if he is well disposed to want to do, and I have thy lost son and do Christ to you, and sure praise my father to you, huh? And then the Lord did say to Jonathan, and Moise, and I don't disgrace you to you, and send you away. You know, God said to you, may the Lord be with you, as he has been with my father. If I am still alive, show me the steadfast love of the Lord, and I may not die, and do not cry for your steadfast love for my house forever. And the Lord cuts off everyone there, and we stay from the face of the earth. And Jonathan made you come to the house and do it. So he made the Lord take vengeance on David's enemies and Jonathan. And David swear again by his love for him. And he loved him as he loved his own soul. And then Jonathan said to him, Tomorrow's the evening, you'll be missed. Here's the seas, it will be empty. On the third day, you're done quickly to the flesh. And he hid himself when the battle was in him. And made him sad to die, he ran all the street through the eyes to the side. As there I shot at mark, and behold, I was in the boy's seat. Go okay, find the eyes. If I say to God, Look, the eyes on this side, you take them, and you ought to come, for us the love is. Be safe here, and there's no day. If I say to you, look, the hours are beyond you, then go. Then Lord sent you away, and this is the map which you and I speak. You know, the day is between you and me. Forever, and David hid himself in the field. And you and King, the king sat down. The king sat down. The king sat on the seat. And mm-hmm. now sat on the time, sat on the seat by the wall. Jonathan sat off, saying, and even the sat by the source eyes, but the soul's place was empty. David's place was empty. And his soul did not say anything that day, for he thought something has happened. That's happened to the new game. He's not clean. Surely he's not clean. Mm-hmm. He's not clean. Mm-hmm. And on the second day, the day after the new game, David first said, And so said to Jonathan and son, Now I is not the son of Jesse come to me. I the old today. So I jumped in and saw the son. David earnestly asked to leave me to go to Bethlehem. And then he said, Let me go for a plan to sacrifice in the sea. My brother commanded me to be there. And now if I found favor in your eyes, let me get away and see my brother. For this reason, he has not come to the king's team. Saul's anger was coming against Jonathan, and he's chosen. You saw him a perverse or bad son, for I did not know that you had chosen son Jesse to your own shame and to the shame of your mother's nakedness. But as long as son Jesse was in the earth, neither you nor the kingdom will be established. And I will send and bring him to me, for sure I will surely die. Jonathan answered Saul as well. Why should he be put to death? What is he done? And Saul thought of how to spear him to strike him, so Jonathan knew that his father and father determined to put David to death. And so Jonathan rose from the table and facing him, and if he had sick and the month, we agreed for him. This is anger disgrace him. And in the morning, Jonathan went out to fit to the appointment with him, and with him a little boy, and he said to the boy, Run up by the house, and then I shoot. And the, and the boy ran. As the boy ran, he shot an arrow beyond him, and the boy came to the place that I had. And then Jonathan and shot. Jonathan called off the boy and said, He's not the Arab beyond me. And John called, Jonathan called off the boy. Hurry, be not quick, do not stay. So Jonathan and his gathered up the eyes and killed his master. But the boy knew nothing. Only Jonathan and David knew the master mad. And John, Jonathan gave his weapon to the boy, his boy. And said, Go and carry them to the sea. As the same as the boy called, David rose from beside the stone. He went from the on his face to go. And bowed three times. And he kissed one another and loved with one another. David leaving the rest and Jonathan said to David, Go in peace. Go in peace, be it, because we have sworn both of us in the earth of the Lord, saying, The Lord shall be between me and you, and between my offspring and your offspring for And he rose in part, and Jonathan went into sea. Proverbs 17. Better dry most when required than a house full of feasting was dry. The servant who deals wisely will live with something like shamefully, and will share the inheritance once the brothers, because was a servant in the fence of the God. In the Lord test house, and he would all listen to, listen to wickedness. And the man gives each a mischievous son, whoever marks the point, salt to make. He is glad calamity they will not get punished, grand children of the kind of the age. And the glorious their children is their fathers. The man's speech is not becoming to a fool, still less a false speech to a prince. And the is like a man's turn in the eyes of the one who gives it. And whenever he turns, he goes, whoever comes to the fence seeks love. He repeats a man set up his close friends. If you cast even to a man of understanding of a hundred birds into a fool, you will mention something in the belly, and a cool man will be sent against him. Let a man be a sheep, but a rough for the cast. 
Not than a phone is funny. If anyone tells you, forget. You will not depart from this house. But you're struck like when I want water. You will be from the core of house. You just spend the weekend here, can have some righteous. Uh, but I like lack of money. Why should you have four of money? You seem to buy wisdom. Money is nice. And also, all times about this one for a person. One year gives sense, likes pledge. Gives a pledge. And puts his security in the person whose name. He loves transgression, loves strife. He makes the one I seek destruction. And a man of crooked heart does not discover it. One of his sons done composed into clown. He decides for goods and self sorry. And the father of four goods is. For us, for us, for us, and enjoy. The joy for us could mess in. And the cross fire jars with the rings. We get sips of my island seek. And if you've heard the way suggested, there's only such a space to walk with them. The rise of the fall on the ends of the earth. The fortune is created to his father. And bends to her born. As he impressed the final righteous man's locker. The most likely nail for the outrightness. And whoever strains his words and knowledge, he was a cause for us to men understand. Even the four key signs can deal with consistent ones. You first have seen the demon culture. Psalm 143. 44. Bless me, Lord, my rock, and change my hands for my fingers for rowdy. My steps on my foot, my strong arm, my deliver, my shooting here and here, my taking food. You stop these people under me, and Lord, what is man that you are gone? And what is the man that you think of it? And it's like breath, it stays like a passing shed. Thy hands are welcome to me. I'm so mad that they say that they say. I just want the lightning to scatter this. Then you're on your eyes about them. Just when you have fallen high, which can you deliver me from the many wars? From the head of fortune, it must be wise. And your right hand is the right hand of fortune. I'm singing you song too, but you are a god. Upon times and columns, fighting. He gives victory to kings. He rescues David son of the poor soul. Which can you deliver me from the hand of fortune? It must be wise. And your right hand is the right hand of fortune. And then you have sons in the day. You see like plants full grind. And doors. And the doors like corner pillars. And a half of structure of the house. And your grain is beautiful, providing a plant's project. Uh, she bring four thousands and ten thousands with that in a friend. Yeah, I cannot be heavy with them. Suffering, no me suffer failing there. I'm failing there. May there be no cry to trust in our shoes. May that's all he would do him such bicycle. That's all he do is God is the Lord. May that's done. That's an idea of God's man. He's very happy. I'll be a name. You can even come here with down after us. This is heaven. Yes, you are there. Yes, there is a second adapter. Yes, an untenantation by the rest of the world. Yes, you can have a part of the river for a moment. See you tomorrow. Bye.